Around 100 elephants have been evacuated in Thailand after flash floods swept through a popular sanctuary in Chiang Mai. This elephant, who is blind, was left behind as it struggled to get past debris, but not for long. Yeah, the herd helped guide the elephant back to the group and to higher ground. Oh, so beautiful. What, are you, what news are you bringing us this morning, Matt? Eh? Bringing reasonable news, weather-wise, I think, for many. But this was a lovely shot from uh, yesterday, Herefordshire. Areas affected by flooding, of course, of late. It was a welcome relief. And more to come today. Very good morning to you. Yes, there will be some more dry and bright weather across the country today, especially for much of England, Wales and eastern Scotland. Yeah, I think we've had enough washouts, haven't we? I think we have. Matt, thank you. So we've had a lot of rain of late, obviously, and I think, I think a lot of people are looking forward to just a, a little bit of calm <laughs> in the weather. I don't know. Well, I, I think you always... Oh, see, that's beautiful. Oh, thank you. Oh, no, the picture, just, yeah. If you uh, can just... If literally, just, just... Just move out of the way. Yeah. But yeah, no, lovely misty scene. A uh, bit of welcome dry weather again today. It's not going to last all weekend, though, as I'll show you. Uh, very good morning to you. Yes, we'll be a bit misty in places this morning, a bit cool across parts of central and eastern England, especially, a bit like you'll see here. Into next week, though, it's going to be a sunshine and shower story for the first half of the week. Second half is down to what happens with this. This is Major Hurricane Kirk, thousands of miles away from us at the moment in the mid-Atlantic. But it could have a bit of an influence as we go into the second half of the week. How much, though, is yet to be decided. Let me just show you quickly two potential scenarios for middle to end of the next week. One is to bring some wet, but fairly windy weather as well across the UK. But just to show how different things could be, that system, that ex-hurricane, could actually push across Spain and France. So it's all too playful and we'll keep you updated. Back when, to you. when will you know exactly? We'll start to know more next week. When hurricanes are in the mix, it causes a few problems with computer models because you never know exactly what they're going to do. I like the two scenarios. Obviously, we prefer the second, yeah? Exactly. Thanks, Matt. Skies outside our building here, Matt. We can have a look at that. Look at that. Lovely, dappled, Beautiful, early thing. morning sky. You know, is that a technical word? The thing with Matt, though, is you show him something like that, and I think... You and I saw this, didn't we, just a moment ago, and went, ooh, yeah? Thing you do when Matt sees something like this, he then just has to raise yeah. the bar, doesn't he? It's stunning, though, isn't it? Yeah, but it's, uh, it's not to be fair, it's not me raising the bar. <laughs> no weather watchers have been out there <laughs> capturing it this morning. Very good morning to just take a look at that sunrise, just not that far away from here, of course, in Leeds, other side of the Pennines. Beautiful start, worth getting up for on a Friday morning, isn't it? And it's a sign of a, a good day to come for many, particularly across England, Wales and eastern Scotland. Um, record rainfall for, for the month of September, I think I'm right in saying. So Matt has been saying that it's going to clear up just a little bit, even though there are storms on the way. But as always, Matt's going to bring us something slightly otherworldly, I think, Matt. Morning. Indeed, yes. Uh, we have seen a record rainfall and storms, but let's start with another storm. Let me just show you these stunning images from what's been happening on the sun during the last 24 hours. What I want to draw your attention to is a massive flare which took place, the largest solar flare we've had of this current solar cycle. Now, that's going to have an impact on uh, some communications, of course, but it's what follows afterwards, a coronal mass ejection, which could, this weekend, bring us a chance of seeing some aurora across the UK. The uh, aurora forecast is one that we'll see some across the north of the country, potentially on uh, Friday night tonight into tomorrow, but into uh, Saturday night, into Sunday, a greater chance. It all depends, though, on how much clouds we're going to see. So what was the cause of it? So the, the flare, what was the cause of it? It just naturally happens out there. What did, it's place. got a technical name. Uh, it's just a, a solar flare. No, what, what that causes it? I don't know. A corona... Oh, no, that's uh, what could cause the aurora, uh, a coronal mass ejection. Oh. Yeah, lots of charged particles shooting through space. Oh, thanks, Matt. Thank you. Welcome. It's that one for the pub quiz, isn't it? All right, this is very beautiful. It looks like um, rather mystical, doesn't it? It looks like a period drama. The picture. joy of autumn mornings, yeah. especially after some clear skies through the night and the recent rain. We have got some mist and fog around this morning. Very good morning to you. This is the scene on the River Thames uh, a while ago. That mist and fog will clear, though, in the coming hours. Um, Matt's taking a look at the weather on Earth this morning. Aren't you, Honor? I am, yes. But before we do, 
Should we cast oh, our eyes a little bit so north pretty. of us? Yeah, it's a view of the sun you don't often get to see, but what I want to draw attention is to the bright flashes you see. These are solar flares, one of the largest solar flares we've seen in this current solar cycle. The flares themselves cause problems with telecommunications and satellite, but it's what follows that could be of interest to us here on Earth. Yes, following these, you get something called a coronal mass ejection. If it's facing the right direction, it could help to enhance a the aurora across uh, the uh, hemispheres, and that it could mean not just tonight, but particularly Saturday night to Sunday, if you get clear skies, and that'll be the crucial one, we could see some aurora above us. One to watch. So keep an eye on the forecast if you fancy a chance of that. So you can just see the forecast for tonight, how that increases, but mainly for the north. This is from an earlier solar flare, but the bigger solar flare will impact us through Saturday night into Sunday. Hi Sally, thank you. Well, it's dry again across England and Wales. Lots of blue sky, sunshine, setting off those autumn colours very nicely indeed. Now, if you've got plans outdoors over the weekend, then it is going to be quite mixed. I think it will stay largely dry again and bright for most of us on Saturday, away from the far north and the west. But by Sunday, it's a lot greyer and there will be some outbreaks of rain too. And that sets the stage for next week, which is looking wet and windy at times. Hello. Well, today has turned out to be a fine day of weather with plenty of sunshine after a misty and foggy start as captured nicely by our weather watcher picture here. But then once that lifted away, we had plenty of sunshine for many. Patchy cloud around in places, but certainly a settled day of weather. Oh, it's nice and calm at least, Sally. Uh, start off with this very atmospheric picture from Oxfordshire. A bit of mist and fog across parts of England in particular earlier on this morning with all of the recent rain, the extra moisture. And of course the light winds, the clear skies, the temperatures dropped. Clear skies by night, of course, blue skies by day. And it's a lovely sunny picture out there for many of us across England and Wales for the rest of the afternoon. Hello, good evening. Nice to see some brightness to end the working week. A chilly start as well. Uh, we had some mist and fog in places. I think tonight will be quite uh, coldish as well for the time of year. But some bright skies to come for tomorrow. Although the breeze will pick up through the course of the day. That's ahead of a weather front which is pushing our way tomorrow night. That's going to bring a damp start to things on Sunday and possibly some livelier outbreaks of rain later too. Maybe an odd rumble of thunder by then as well. And an unsettled picture as we head into next week. Glorious there too, isn't it? Yeah, for most of England and Wales, Rita, we've had skies like these, lots of sunshine around, high pressure has been firmly in charge of the weather. But it's not been like this everywhere. Across Scotland and Northern Ireland, we've had more cloud, and over recent hours, we've started to see some rain move into Argyll and Buttes, bringing some rather gloomy weather. And it was so nice to see some sun today, Chris. Yes, mild as well. You know, temperatures got up to 17 degrees Celsius. We had these blue sunny skies widely across southeast England. And there's more of this to come for tomorrow as well. Temperatures, as I say, got to 17. That's a couple of degrees above average for this time of the year. Hello there, good evening. Cloudier today towards the northwest with some patchy outbreaks of rain, but for much of England and Wales, another dry day with blue sky and sunshine helping to showcase some of these very pretty autumn colours. Hello there, very good evening to you. For much of the UK, it's been a pretty decent end to the week weather-wise. Mixed fortunes, though, I think it's safe to say, typically, as we head into the coming weekend. The general setup looks a little like this. Cloud with rain across northwestern areas, slightly drier and brighter across the southeast. And then by the time we get into the second part of the weekend, it is going to be a much greyer picture with showers possibly popping up at any point.